long time. And we're live. Hey, guys. How is everyone doing tonight? Thank y'all to everyone that hopped in our live earlier today for all the advice. Yep. There's Kevin. Man, Carolyn, it's... Nancy, Dora, Sylvia, Pat, Cassandra. It's going to take me a long time to get used to Browns Family Farm. I said it right. Browns? Mm -hmm. Browns Family Farm. Got it. Just take me a minute. He's the GFF. GFF. That is Nick. I'm watching it a while. I waited. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we, um, man, my brother come out. That's what my brother does is dirt work um, at his job. So he come out and helped me out. And um, I spent several hours from when I got off the live until almost dark uh, packing that dirt in. And then he comes out and shows me how to figure out how to get the level of the ground. And boy, was I in a rude awakening. Oh, my gosh. I got to come up another three and a half foot. So I don't know what I'm going to do on that, That which I may go live tomorrow and show you all um, once I get everything lined up because I've got to do something to um, get everything um, built back up because that's the only place we really want that barn, really. Yeah, it's kind of a perfect spot for it without having to tear down a whole bunch of trees or stuff. Hey, Jody. <sighs> Cindy. That yes, that was really good. Add dirt Reverend and Jay? hire a road roller. Uh, I was in a road roller today. I guess yeah. that's what that is, right? Uh, yeah. The thing on the road. So what I think I'm going to have to do is um, actually go rent a backhoe to be honest. Don, how are you? Thank you so much. Hope everything is going good. Uh, we got some good news the other day, and uh, we're going to share that. Hello, Lori and Cindy, Ron, Brenda, I'm so excited for y'all. It's been a long time coming. Yes. How are you, Ron? There's Dean. Pierce. Pierce. Lisa says, how are the puppies? They're done good. They're still in jail. Yep, they're in jail. Linda. I locked them up today. Um, if y'all didn't see that, Stephanie's video, they're in jail. Literally. Yeah. Um, they they mm -hmm. tore all kinds of stuff up today. This morning when we got up, it was it was crazy. MT Homestead. What's going on, Big Mike? Layton's doing really well in band. Hey, Ed. Mr. Ed Kirkpatrick. Everybody's hopping in here. And if you said Layton's in band, I play the oboe. Um, yeah, he plays the clarinet. It was one of those things you have to play something or you have to do like vocals or band or keyboarding or something like that and so he just chose band he was like i am not i'm not singing in front of people yeah like, he's got a really pretty voice actually but he doesn't think so i think he likes i think he likes the band uh i have to give him some more credit because like yeah hey there is mike with fowler film i was getting some um stuff from the internet so I wasn't able to see everybody hop on here, but try to catch up with everybody. Scott, how are you? Sandra, thank y'all so much for joining us this evening. Randall says, from Randy in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Hi, Eddie family. How are y'all doing well? Um, love both channels. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you so much. Yep, 15 days to the Oki Homestead Expo. I can't wait. I can't Maybe. wait. I'm super, super pumped. Um, I think I'm just super, super pumped about the vacation. I am pumped, but I'm not pumped about having to pack for everybody. Yeah. Um, Cowboy's still here. I'm just 
there's so many other animals. We got more animals now. And so there's other, um, you know, we have to, Cowboy has to share his time. Good evening from the UK. How are you, Sandra? Thank you so much for joining. Uh, also says, Steph, do you know how to train the ponies so they come to you? I mean, we've always done it just with snacks and treats. Um, we're having to work with like Milky Way and the new ones. Um, we're trying really CB hard does with really them. Good. Um, but you know, we got to keep in mind that you know they're we're finding little things out with them as we go. Um, you know, she did tell me they was nice and they might have been nice when she went out and fed them and stuff, but mm -hmm. they're not nice enough for my kids to go out there and get in the pen with them. So um, we're still working on that. And then we noticed one of them uh, has got to get some hoof work done. Living life, loving the, did you see I took cowboy or voting with me on Tuesday, life aloud? Yes. Um, My sister was telling me about it was early votes yesterday. Yeah. I didn't know that, but she did. When it came to your barn doors, I would face it away from the winter wind. So, yeah, we're, I, I'm in a big situation now. I, I don't honestly know what I'm going to do. Um, I just don't think I can bring, I mean, literally for five and a half hours today, I moved dirt and built up one side of the, the uh, slab where we're going to put that shed. And um, if I have to move that three and a half foot, it's going to take me weeks um, with my tractor. So I, I don't know what we're going to do. So we'll just kind of. It just doesn't seem that unlevel. It That's don't, what's crazy. It, it doesn't with the naked eye, but like Cody knows his stuff on like pads and stuff. Yeah. And he said, and, and he explained it. We took, we took a stake put it here, a stake here to the highest point. Then you took a string. We put a level on top and then went to the back. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So, yeah. Okay. Yes. Whistle training animals works well. Dogs, pigs, horses, birds, even cats. Brenda said, I finally made a live and blessing from Louisiana. Well, thank you so much for joining. Oh, look, Ella. She says, the t-shirt you got on a new one? Yes, this was the one I was trying to remember all the words, but there's obviously a lot of words. But that's it. In the world full of pronouns, be an adjective. Saved, redeemed, forgiven. I loved it. Love it, love it, love it. Hello, Pam. Uh, Ruby says, I still have my clarinet. I haven't played it in 51 years. My sister played the clarinet um, back in school. Douglas oh. said, good evening, Brandon Step from Ontario, Canada. See, back in school, um, I think it was sixth grade. Might have been fifth, but I think it was sixth. Um, and up could do like band and stuff, but we were such a small school. They ended up... Um, what do you call it? Um, getting rid of band. They got rid of music totally the that year that we actually got into sixth grade. So we didn't. I didn't get to play band or do vocals or any of that stuff. Uh, Bonnie says, "I wish I could go to the expo. I, I wish everybody could that that wants to. I, I know there's a lot of people that can't. You know." Uh, just because of transportation, and I understand that, and I, I hate it. But um, I'm going to be trying something here pretty soon. Um, if everything works out right, is uh, we're going to start traveling from tractor supply to tractor supply on weekends. And um, we got something in the work. So maybe if you got tractor supply or you're close by, maybe um, – Maybe we can come to your town or something. That's not something I didn't know about. Yeah. Come on, people. 280 people or 87 people watching. Only 81 thumbs up. 
Yeah, he says, where can I find the boys' wish list on Amazon? Um, it's it's in the uh, the description box. Um, it's in the description box of the videos. Um, I'm trying to keep them in there, but um, we're also trying to keep you know get some more items up there because a lot of the items they've already put there, especially the trapping stuff, they've already been ordered. Joe wants to know if you bought your pet snake yet. No, yeah, you ain't gonna catch me in no pet snake. Uh, hey guys, amazing how fast your channel is growing! Congratulations on the 100k. And by the uh, way, it looks, uh, it I will not be surprised to see you hit 200k. Oh man, that would be amazing! But I'm I'm just really enjoying uh, this moment now with the 100k. Um, I will say I did get an email from uh, YouTube. And um, we designed, uh, we we made the plaque, and um, yeah, everything's in the works. So um, from the sounds of it, the plaque's going to be here before the expo. So we're super excited. Dean said uh, they're supposed to be building a tractor supply here in my town. Well, we might might just be able to do that. Do you let the puppies out of jail to run and play some? If we're outside, but this was the first day. Yeah, this is the first they, day. So they just they've been in jail probably six, seven hours. Brandy, <laughs> did, did you get something in the mail? For me yet. Ding. Not yet. Um No, he said it. did you get something in the mail to me yet? Dean, you're going to have to send me a message or something. I've done forgot. Thanks, uh, man. That's exciting. You bringing that with you? You yeah. bring it to the expo? No, there ain't going to be no <laughs> pet snakes. Yeah. Huh? You're talking, I thought he was talking about the YouTube plaque. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like you I thought you was the snake. pet snake. I'm not doing no snakes. <laughs> Um, Brandon, did you arrest those pups? Nope, Stephanie. Did. Well, I guess we both did. Yeah, <laughs> she did the affidavit. Just while I see where they go, no, so Steph missed a trick when the chicks all got stupid ad. Um, when the chicks all guy showed up, another ad. It keeps bumping me out. Um, so when the Chicksaw guy showed up, she should have held him for ransom until they turned up to start on the house. Yeah. So let's go ahead and let y'all know about the news that we got. The big news is the uh, Chicksaw Nation, uh, the Indians, uh, arrived at our front gate. If you didn't join our live earlier today, we kind of broke some of the um, information on it. Uh, is this so exciting that you, you know, it's hard to be quiet about it, but um, it's getting close. Um, sounds like their final bids are going to be in the 30th or in 30 days. So that was through the, so 29 days left. Um, not that I'm counting or anything. Uh, so it's uh, looking good. I guess um, Steph actually got all excited when there's like, is this the passcode we can give to the contractors as well? And I could only see her face. That would be crazy. Yeah. I was like, yes, you can give it to whoever you need to. <laughs> yeah. It, it's awesome. Um, I can't wait. We still don't know. Like we're, we got a little bit of our hopes up a little bit more than we have. Just we're still going to just play it day by day. Act like, nothing's going on and then they just show up because it still could be a little bit there's judy how are you judy sneeds farmhouse sanctuary thank you so much for stopping in beverly how are you doing from uh amarillo texas yeah awesome thank you all so much to um, stopping in here but yeah that's some of the the good news is you know they did arrive with the um um come up and he basically brought another um what do you call it a foreman 
the uh, well, overseer. I was gonna say I think that was the overseer guy, wasn't it? Well, there's three of them. It? There's three of them. Um, there was the driver, that guy, the other guy, and Richard. Um, so we got three of them. Um, we do know that our name is number two on the list out of five. So. Ed said, look for another spot for the barn, Brandon. Um, man, we, we've looked, and there's just nowhere. How our land goes, it goes kind of like an arch. So it kind of arches off on this side, and it kind of arches off on this side. So really, the, the levelest place that there actually is, and it wasn't totally level, but is where our house is actually going to be put. So anywhere we put it, we're going to have to bring in a lot of dirt. But like you were saying, is there? You just know, not. We could take it over there and put it on that fence line where the traps are. That's pretty flat ground over there. Are you sure it's flat? Well, we might go look at that. I'm saying because it didn't look very flat. It kinda because goes like I this. mean, I, I want the barn there because it's so convenient and we can see everything. Um, but aren't you wanting the real barn, like the big barn, like the actual shop barn thing? That's going to be behind the house. Yeah, but it's going to be behind the house. And then that trap area is right here. So it kind of be blocking the yeah, view. I just have to look at it some more. Literally, me and my brother is out there looking at it tonight and with flashlights. It's crazy. Um, I'll probably hop on live and show you all what we're talking about. And... Um, Maybe y'all have some info for me. TC said, just flatten the large area. Judy said, I'm not going to be able to go, get, be able to go. My dad is on hospice. Oh, I am so God. sorry to hear that, Judy. We will definitely keep y'all in our prayers. Hello, everyone from Dallas, Texas. Gail, how are you doing? Uh, Lori said, you know how the Amish have a barn raising? You should have an Okie raising and get Daniel and friends over to help. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the, wor it, it, the worst thing I may have to do is probably try to phone a friend that's got a backhoe. And then I can do what we did with the dirt when we built the roadway. We just went and got a dump truck and just kept on bringing it up and um, doing it that way. So we'll see. Is the barn going to be for animals or hay or uh, tractor storage? It's going to be a little bit of for everything. It's going to be for the track. The main thing it's for is the tractor, the side by side, the and the, the lawnmower. Um, and anything else that is outside, literally, we have no more room. Like the shop building over here, um, we don't even have room for the feed in there anymore. So no. um, we're moving the feed like up. The chicken feed and stuff. Yeah, Dog we're feed. moving that feed up to the um, that little barn that we built. Um, there is a little bit of rain gets in there, but it's on the floor. Um, but I'm trying to cut around that so that doesn't happen. Um, so the main deal is just trying to make room. Says we have a tractor supply here in Missouri. Daniel just got him an excavator. He sure did. That thing's nice. I, I like the barn that he's got as well. That's that is amazing. And you know, later on, you know, once we get our house built, I do want to build a nice barn back there in the back. But I want the house already built. I want to be able to live in it for a couple months so I can. Just walk outside and kind of picture everything because honestly, the back, that view is gorgeous in the evening time. So we'll be able to sit on the back porch and watch the sun go down. It'll be amazing. How's Case and Chickens doing? They're doing really good. Doing good. We got a bunch of eggs. A bunch of eggs. You know how many we got today? How many? A dozen. Oh, did y'all? Just out of those. Yeah, me and Casey. He was already getting them and he's like, Mom, I'm about to drop them. So I ran back there and helped him. But I put that blue bag. It has holes in it. Um, I put it outside for him to 
he can actually start carrying the eggs with them. There's TC. Uh, try to comment last live. Make sure you build your uh, building on top of the hill so they don't flood out. Yes, so that's what we're trying to do is actually get it up so it does not flood. Um, uh, I asked the other day about the puppies. They are great Pyrenees. And uh, if you're interested in one, if you send me an email, you probably get a pretty daggum good deal right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sydney says, Congrats on 100k subs and builders' arrival from Corin, Australia. Caught a live today as I am home nursing my wife from her second full knee replacement. Prayers for me would be appreciated. Well, yeah, I'll definitely keep you in our prayers. Douglas said, Brandon, you're you know what they say about forgetting that means old age. Yeah, I'm getting up there, I'm getting up there. The big four O, oh. and let me tell you what: when I hit forty, it seems like everything went down. I went to the doctor more this year or last year than I probably have in my whole life. But it's all right; we're getting back on track. Um, are you all going to hatch eggs again? Yep, we are, and uh, we're actually going to set an incubator off tomorrow. We was going to do it today, but. Um, well, I had to go get some hay. We ended up getting some hay today and uh, trying to do that barn. It's just a never ending deal. It seems like the morning time I get up and I edit, drink my coffee, go through all my stuff. But once I hit outside, it's just like it's nonstop. It's crazy. Yeah, we'll wait till 50. <sighs> Who said that? Kim. Oh, man. Michelle says, evening, Brandon and Steph. I received my T-shirts today. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Thank you so much for ordering. We greatly appreciate it. Did you see uh, Brown Farmhouse latest video? I watched that one. Yes. It's very sad. I love the chicken coop. Oh, I'm thinking of the latest one. Oh, okay. I haven't seen that one yet. I was the baby. Um... I have children older than y'all. I even have a 32-year-old grandson. Almost hey. my age. Yeah. No, that play button flag. Carry it around like a champ. Hey, I, man, I, I do, but, yeah, man, it's so crazy. I, I can't wait. Um, the night I was going through my emails before I went to bed, it was 2 o'clock in the morning, and I got the notification that says, congratulations, and you got to go. Dude, it's like you had to go through a lot to actually register for it and get it sent out. So hopefully it'll be here. Uh, Rena says, Brennan, Stephanie, your channel has grown so much. It's been a while since I've been here. I lost my daughter. and all. I am so sorry to hear that. I am so sorry to hear that. I couldn't imagine what you're going through. Yeah. And he says, hello, Brendan, Stephanie. Uh, here you were going live, so I will be keeping my eye out. I can't always trust YouTube to send notifications. I know it's crazy. I was actually uh, talking to Dutch the other day, and um, we was just kind of to compare some stuff. And I opened it up, and I was like, I'm not subscribed to you. I'm, I'm like, how is that? So they unsubscribed me from um, Dutch, uh, Daniel, uh, several other channels, um, Cassie and Gary. Uh, it was weird. I don't know. Um, Grow Jack Outdoors. It was weird. I don't know how they do that. Well, Ed, um, I told him, I said, uh, one of my buddies told me that uh, nothing's going to happen to the porta potties got here. And he said, well, honestly, I didn't realize they took them. We need to get those things back out here. Uh, so, really? yeah. I'm showing my other two shirts, even though this is your channel. I'll be all right. I'll allow it. Mm -hmm. So this one was my favorite. 
I can't wait to wear it. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Be more excited. <laughs> no, more like it. And here's just an Easter one we got at the flea market. Hanging with my peeps. We don't have rabbits no more. Easter is for bunnies. Oh, okay. Okay. What did I just say? I got to get, um, if I missed your comments, I got to get caught up. I was 21 minutes behind. Oh, you're always behind. I, I'm the one that stays down low. I had to clip a toenail. It was bugging me. Thanks, Biggie. Um, I've been unsubscribed to a lot of y'all as well as I had to subscribe again. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I had to check my subscription every time YouTube does an upgrade. Hey, from West Virginia. Uh, will construction start on your new property? Yeah, it will be this year. I really feel like it will be this year. Yeah, it's sounding a lot more. Yeah, the uh, the big news is um, the housing authority uh, people arrived uh, yesterday and uh, kind of scoping everything out. And he said that the contractors are going to be coming in and out. So that means things are fixing to work. And what I really liked about it was he pulled up. And uh, so he goes, I bet you're excited to see me or something like that. I was like, yeah. He said, I bet your subscribers would be happy to see some news come up on the house. So I was like, yep, you better believe it. They're always asking about it. So it's awesome. Lena says, you're still a baby. Two of my boys are older than you. That's okay. You're doing what you like. They're not. The puppies are so cute. They are cute, but they're, yeah. If you want a puppy, you email me tonight. I'll make you a good deal. Patricia says, I beat you all. Four kids, 15 great grands, and now five great Oh, probably 15 grand, and now five great grands, and I am 71. That's why I love watching your kids, especially late in Stephanie's mini-me. <laughs> Hello, Heather from West Virginia. Love seeing all the Eddie family and all on the farm. I live alone, so it's a blessing to see you all. Well, I'm so thankful that you enjoy us, and I'm so glad that you do watch, and uh, thank you so much. Are you still keeping one of the girl puppies? What will the name be? Um, yes, we're still keeping her. And I don't know what we're going to name her yet. We're, we've been kind of throwing some names out there, but they're just not sticking. Might need to borrow a backhoe again. Yeah, um, actually, I was trying to find that phone number, but it was in my other phone. So I may have to go uh, find it tomorrow and talk to him. So then the, um, the puppies are in jail. We moved them to the guinea pen, which the guineas don't get in it anyways. They just um, roost on top of it, <laughs> but they're in there. Um, did you get your new unit, Brandon, for the sheriff's office? Yes, that is the new unit. It is a Dodge Durango. Um. I have to get used to driving it. I will say that. Um, Not any worse than the Traverse. Uh, no, this thing goes 150 miles an hour. Yeah, but. So it's, yeah, I have to get used to it. I'm not used to, um, I'm, My truck I'm used to about fast. 130 is, is about, about 135 has been my top speed. Um, when you get to 140, um, Things start to get a little hairy. Good evening from Alabama. Yes, Thank you Kaysen. so much, Lin uh, Linda, for joining us. You get super excited. If y'all get some uh, T-shirts, 5X, I might get one. Well, we just actually got rid of our last 5X hoodie, um, but hopefully we can get some when we do our next order. Um, we're working on some shirts as we speak um, for both channels, so... We may have to do that. Can you grab my coffee over there, please? More than good evening from Maryland. 
That was funny, Brandon. You made me laugh. <laughs> Yeah, I can be excited when I when I have to. Okay. He's a good faker on that part. So faked me out laughing at me. How's the trapping going? It's going. It's going fine. Steph, what site did you order the shirts from? I'll let you know. Hi from North Carolina. Indiana. Wow, there's a lot of new faces here tonight. So if you're just joining, um, we, um, the, the exciting news is um, the people that's going to start building the house, they came out the other day and um, it looks like things are fixing to start looking good around here, breaking ground and stuff. I don't know. I can't. I can't find it right now. I'll just skim through there. Can't wait to get my cowboy shirt. Yep. Um, so our last order went out. I think two days ago. Did you take on the post office? Two days ago. Two or three days ago. Something like that. Monday. 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 Yeah. Just don't get rid of that mail. We have subs naming him already. Oh, oh, so, okay. I forgot. You already. Well, we, we might have to make an Alabama trip one weekend. No, I'm just joking. I just, they just, oh, I just, they just getting into everything and it's hard to keep them in the pens. These, these puppies figured out how to get out through those little holes. Those last ones didn't. Hey. Pups are left, um, boys or girls. Two boys. Two boys, that's it. No, the new house won't have a basement. It'll have a garage. It'll have the four bedrooms, two baths, um, a dining room, kitchen, laundry room. That's pretty much it. Then you get like a shed in the back. Um, I know. Dean said, I'm up to four grandkids. I sure hope I don't have grandkids anytime soon. Yeah, we're just going to keep one. Teresa, yeah, I think so. Yeah, and the storm shelter. We'll have a storm shelter also. Yeah, they are lovely puppies. I just sometimes these are just a little bit, they get into more stuff. Um, when do the puppies go to their new homes? Well, the expo. A, a, I was going to say there's a couple in April. At, or no, in March. And then the other two. Just whenever we find someone for them. When my grandparents um, built their home. New home, they had a house raising party. All the kids and grandkids showed up, plus a few neighbors. It was under roof in 12 hours. We're going to have, I know it's not a raising party because, I mean, we can't help build it, but we'll have a housewarming party. Uh, my mother in law is wanting to throw something about it. Yeah, so like on some of the shirts, um, we're going through a lot of shirts trying to get good ideals. Oh, if you're new, this is Steph's channel. Um, I thought I posted that earlier, but um, go check that channel out. She spends a lot of time with the animals and kind of give you be disappointed. Kind of give you behind the scenes of what her version of what goes on around the farm. Um. Merch. Hello to the entire family. I love your channels. I am from North Carolina. Puppies have Dixie's determination. How about Pixie for the one you keep? Pixie? 
Uh, hey, that that's... might be too close to Dixie, I think. Dixie, Dixie. Yeah, kind of like Carly and Harley. You always, I know the reasoning because he's not here anymore, but half the time I think the kids are saying Harley whenever they're calling for Carly. Uh, to... Thank you, Ayana. That's my niece's name. Beautiful name. Vicky Walker. I really love watching both of your channels when YouTube doesn't unsubscribe me. Like, well, I have been watching for a while. Now keep up the good work. Hey, Vicky, where are you from? Just curious. That um, you're that Walker. That's my mother's maiden name. Either it's from that side, or it could be from the Walkers. Uh, did you see the Walkers and Dutch family have all been sick lately? Yes, um, definitely keep them in your prayers. Uh, little Ransom, that was kind of scary um, what went on with him the other day. Um, you know, they had to rush him to the, the hospital. Um, thankfully, uh, was able to get everything figured out. Um, but definitely keep them in your prayers. Yeah, so if you ordered the shirt within the last two or three days, um, that order should already been out. Um, I've just recently found your channel and I absolutely love y'all. You're truly the salt of the earth kind of people. I'm definitely on board now. Thank you for sharing your life with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Who, who said that? I didn't want to say the name. I just want Squatching to see. Squatching Grandmama. Okay. I just want to see the icon. It's a person, so it's probably the grandmama. Good evening from New Hampshire. Thank you so much for hopping in here. Uh, Bonnie says, that is so awesome. They're finally going to get started working on the house. I'm so happy to hear that. They answered prayers. Yes. It's always a good sign when you see a white pickup pull up here. Uh, Brandon and Stephanie from Southeast Indiana. Hello from Kentucky. Amy, how are awesome you? Awesome, Missouri. Um, it's only going to be one story. Nothing fancy. I mean, it'll be a lot fancier than this. Yeah. Good name for your female snow since she is white and fluffy. Yeah. Usually you get notifications so you can track it. I didn't get one. Oh, his hoodie, Dean. You didn't get one, Dean? He said, hopefully you sent the two eggs. I'll look it up after this. He said, maybe it'll just show up. Hello from Texas. Hello from Louisiana. I'm subscribed to both channels. Going to order a new shirt soon. Awesome. And somebody else asked for the shirt. They will go to. Let me top this in. Fran Lane said Walker was my mother's maiden name. Really? A anybody I mean, from Oklahoma? I was going to say, Walker's very common. No. I, it really is. I see it a lot. In, and in, it's different. Different states and different i was about to say that spelling right there is how my mom spelled her last name yeah. that is the website and guys if you're new um there's very few uh products left um we're just finishing off the last bit of our last launch and our um next launch should be coming out um hopefully here in a couple months we get everything designed and get it out um it's a, they do an amazing job with our stuff. Hey, Jeff, how are you? Love your channel from Hello from Texas. Are y'all finished with all the control burning? I love doing them and watching them. Um, we've got one more to do on the other side of the property, but honestly, we, we're just going to have to take a break for a little bit. It's messed up our allergies really bad. So, um, 
we're going to take a break for a little bit. So and, he says, what are you going to use the house you are in when your new house is built? Like a tech house for feed and medicine for the farm animals? No, this this here is going to be um, just a, uh, j guest house. a guest house. Um, so like a lot of times, um, you know, you meet new friends or YouTube channels come over to other YouTube, other YouTubers. But besides them having us go stay in the one, well, just for instance, if Nick or Zoe or Kevin or Kimberly, um, anybody. There's Nico. Come to, like Nico was here um, last year when he picked up the dog. Um, if we would have had this cabin ready and our house had been built, he could have stayed here. And uh, that way, you just don't have to go to the hotel. Get a hotel, yeah. And I've learned I'm not a carpenter. Aunt Mimo said, you really should be wearing a mask with a lot of smoke anyways. Yeah, I just, I can't breathe with the mask. That That's the only, that's the bad thing about, uh, I guess maybe it's just me or my, or, or blah, blah, it's just like we're heavy breathers. Yeah, I'm excited. I got my hoodie today. It's so warm and feels so soft. Fantastic quality. Awesome. Glad you love it. And, and guys, hey, send us a picture of it in, a, in an email or something. And, and here's the, I'm not putting them up or anything, but we're we're taking those and putting them in a folder that we can keep all of our subscribers in um, with their merch. I really enjoy that. Um, I don't know. It might be weird, but it's just amazing to see um, all the love and support everybody shows um, to our, our farm and our family and um I know we say this many, many times, but if it wasn't for y'all's love and support, we wouldn't be able to have all these beautiful animals and stuff. So that's the reason why I like going live today. I know there was some new people on there, but that was telling me to Google it. But I would rather get y'all's opinion. Yes, I could Google it, but I, I like getting everybody involved. Um, next, uh, that's why I uh, don't use says Mike, but I think he's meaning mask. Um, he sounds like Darth Vader. Who said that, Nick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm what I was watching, um, uh, you know, video. I've seen your face when uh, Zoe showed up with that dog. <laughs> yeah, I bet she is glad they found that the home back or where it belonged. She says. Hey, Brandon, what's worse, jumping goats or bad puppies? Bad, bad puppies. puppies. Yeah. Um, Scan Fam says, we're in a country trying to find a security system for our property. Um, if you're like security system, like cameras, um, I have been using, um, we started working with the company the other day. Um, the video should be out. They should approve it. Um, and there should be a, a, a code that will come with it. I'm waiting for approval. Uh, just stay tuned and uh, there will be a um, approval link on there so you can go try it out. Nick, the no, it was the mics for the audio on our videos. That's oh, what okay. What, what mics do y'all use? I, I love the mics. DJI. Oh, the, I love these. No, that's what ours are. Oh, yeah. Ours is DJI. Um, I really enjoy these here because, for one, like a lot of uh, sometimes people ask, like, what's that black square on you? It's like this this magnet is really, really powerful. And I'll lose I'll, it. And then lose it, but take it and just put it right there. And go everywhere and um honestly the i don't even put the um whatever you call that furry deal on it the cover or whatever the shirt covers all that up and you don't get the wind or anything and i drive the side by side so these things are amazing but i will say they are expensive um if you do order these you definitely need to buy the um protection plan 
Um, we did have to send another uh, setback um, because they broke and they are replacing them. I got family from Oklahoma. Well, that's awesome. What part of Oklahoma? Miguel said we have family or we have walkers here plus any family here. Yes, Nancy. Hello from John and Nancy in Putnam City, Florida. Uh, we have a Putnam City, um, Oklahoma here too. Oh, no, Panama. What? Oh, my bad. Panama City. We love y'all's little farm and y'all's story. Well, thank you. Um, Brennan, you are a people person. You like interacting with your YouTube family. I like that about you and your family. Yeah, and I think, I don't know. It's just, I think a lot of it, I mean, I, I would say I've always been like that, but once I, I left the sheriff's office, it become more, um, become more, yeah, when um, I did leave the sheriff's office, because, yeah, what? You didn't finish your sentence. Just different, I guess. Like that, you need to look for those. Um, I'll send you a link link to them. Um, I get them off Amazon, but like, say, if you do, I'll, I'll send you one. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Ruth says, if I could have got someone to go with me, I would have been to the expo. I would love to meet you all someday. Love your family. Happy that you got news about the house. I know we're excited. Um, so that's the deal. Is it, you know there is going to be a lot of um, YouTube um, channels there, and it is so. Everybody is so kind. It's amazing. I love it. It is I a great, it. great feeling. I Let's just can't wait. Um. Oh, Tammy says, I have that same shirt, Stephanie. I love their shirts. There it is. Dean says, my recliner is not going in. The little house is going to be the living room to the new house. Uh, yes, nice to have when company comes over. Yes, for sure. Okay, she's read some of these. I'm on Facebook to text, but watching you on my big screen on TV. Yeah, it's pretty neat because it actually shows us how many people watch us on the big screen too. So that's pretty neat. Uh, Pam says, good evening, you two, from Oregon. Love your family. Uh, never miss watching your videos. Well, thank you so much for watching, uh, Pam. We greatly uh, appreciate your love and support. How about eye protection while you're burning? I don't... You all right? Um, I don't use the eye protection because I sweat so much. And when I sweat, it fogs up and I can't see. But when I'm burning, i um, not really worried about, I mean, you're going to get dust and stuff like that in your eyes. But growing up in the country, you, you're just kind of used to it. Well, Bonnie says, I have family in Oklahoma from Choctaw Nation and Norman, Oklahoma. Choctaw. Um, please let us late comers to your live about. Oh, please tell us late comers to the live about the house details, but you just did that. 
Yeah. Um, then uh, says I got some brand new puppies. If you need them, uh, no, nope, I don't need them. Lauren ordered some cards with the QR code on it to hand out while we are there. What? Well, who did you get them uh, through? Was that uh, Goats and Hose Family mm -hmm. Farm? Well, who did y'all use? We've seen some last year that had some. The land looks a lot, whole lot better since you've been burning it. I know you got scared a few minutes from that one part, but you did a good job taking care of it. It looks better going. It looks better going to help the land. It is. And, and like I say, I'm kind of, kind of glad it did burn that big uh, brush pile, but it did get a little scary there for a little bit. Um, but... I just don't understand the leaves because the same leaves that we burned that day and then we try to burn it another day, they wouldn't burn. So uh, it's got to be something with the humidity or something like that. Kevin said we did the same. We used Canva. Canva? the QR code. Huh. Um, she made it off the website, then copied it to a card she designed on Vistaprint. I'll get the website name and send it to you. Yeah, that, I think that's who we got our cards through last time. Yeah, yeah it was Vista Print. And they were nice cards. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm back on here, Dean said. Well, there's at least three Pams watching you all. I'm upstate New York. <laughs> I know there the a lot of Pams, a lot of Nancy's, a lot of Linda's, uh, but that's okay. Just don't change your icon. Don't change your icon. May said the new house is going to feel as big as a palace after first living in an RV, then a tiny cabin. It, it will because this here, this feels big. I, I mean, not to give too much detail, but it is nice to be able to go in and take the sh take a shower do your laundry and all that in the same area mm -hmm. besides having to go back and forth. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, Gail says, I feel like I have family in Oklahoma as none of the families I follow will answer back like you do. Well, Gail, I just, uh, that I just enjoy, well, we probably go live a lot more than uh, other channels and, um, I try to answer some comments, you know, when we post a video, but, you know, for the ones that want to interact with us, I feel that's, we owe that to y'all to give, we dedicate the two hours for y'all once a week on both channels to um, answer questions, hang out. And um, another thing is, I just know there's so many people out there that's lonely and, you know, a lot of people look forward to this, just reading the emails and stuff. And you, you don't even have to be a big channel to to get that. Um, I can remember we when we was at ten thousand, um, getting emails about people that's been in the hospital and they look forward to our videos to get through the day. So um, it's amazing to be able to help somebody get through the day. Um, Bill said, "Would it make it be?" easier to put the barn on the other side and dig it into the hill instead of raising you can dig it out you'll even have some extra dirt for other projects just thought yeah kind of where you're digging all that dirt is that what you're talking about kind of by the chickens yeah i'm gonna have to just go live and show y'all tomorrow Stepped into you hurt yourself. No, I guess I accidentally picked my like I had a scratch and like it was all kind of bubbled up with uh, whatever it's called, the scratch part. And I picked one of it and it just won't stop. Um, I ordered something for your kiddos and just received it a couple days ago. They're going to love it, and y'all will get a good laugh as well. Where do I need to send it to? Um, it will 
P.O. Box. Uh, it is in the description box. It's 131 Davis, Oklahoma. Um, yep. Chubb says the land looks a whole lot better since you've been burning in. I think you've already, I already read, that. read that. I'm a little bit behind. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> I almost read it twice. Brandon, I get emails from people with just a little over 300 people. Yes. Who said that? Ding. Yeah. It, it's, it's unreal. Um, emails that we get from companies every day is unreal. I bet you we get 20, 25 emails of companies wanting us to use their products and um but it's got to be something that we back before we do we have an animal barn eventually mm -hmm. i think i i really like the whole animal barn just being able to space them off and so eventually um kind of like you know when you go into i don't know you see them on tv shows where um you go down a long barn and they, they got individual pins um i want something kind of like that you know uh, we do have something very very big that's fixing um that will be coming back from the Oki homestead expo and uh with us and it's going to be amazing. I'm excited. Yes, it's going to be huge. Um, so we're, we're pretty stoked about that. I'm going to try to keep that a secret as best as I can. But I guess if you go to the expo, you'll probably know. Yep. Hey, if you need a milk cow working with Wiley has one. We haven't got started on the milk cow stuff yet. I am. I do want to get started with um, like the goats. Um, and one reason why is I'm learning as as my stomach like yesterday was probably the best day I've had um, since this is all went on. I didn't feel no pain or anything in my stomach. Then I got some um, beef jerky, a tractor supply, did not realize it was hot and I ate it. And today has been the worst day. And the only worst day I had like this before was the day I ate those um, really hot pork skins. So it's got something to do with the heat. Ran, maybe kind of like stables? Yeah, yeah, something kind of like that, yeah. And this is, I really love your channel. Keep sharing Jesus and his blessings. Are sure on you guys, Heather from Woodstock or Tony Ontario, Canada. Um, yes, and I'll, I will never say that all of this is a blessing from God, every bit of it. Maybe you can get one of them to send you another metal building for, uh, for containers for your chicken food. Maybe. It's amazing how much progress you have made since you first started on the farm. You have totally changed the look of the land. Yes, it's been a lot of work. Hey, Game Master, how are you? Or Master Game? It is, um, it's amazing. Um, just to go back and watch some of the old videos, it's crazy. Yeah, it's not the size of the house. It's the love inside that makes it a home. That is 100% true. And, and that's what, you know, we told the kids when we first moved out here, you know, um, in the camper. It was so small. But, you know, I think the first three or four months we was just excited to be out here in the country. And yeah. it just felt really good. Um, and then you get, you know, the new wears off. And then you get it just like man, you know, when's this house going to be built? But, you know, homes, wherever you make it. I 
Um, I'm so sorry. I have the worst heartburn, and I hope you guys make the goat soap and lotion. So that's on my agenda. I really, really want to try that. Not only will that be another stream of income for the farm, it will just... I mean, it ain't like we need to add more stuff to the farm, but um, it would be neat for another stream of in income for sure. Mm -hmm. And it says fly the drone over the property to show us where you are going to uh, want the barn. Hey, th that ain't a bad idea. I might get out there and fly that tomorrow. And Becca says, are you going to be able to come to the meetup in Missouri? Which one's that? Missouri is the Ozark. Oh, I thought it was at Lake Tin Killer. Is the, no, the Tin Killer one's not the same as Ozark. What day is that one? Oh, the information is... Um, uh, what is the name of Yuffie? Yuffie cameras. This is Jeff. That's that's the cameras um, that we're using now, and we're going to actually order a couple more to put up towards the front. We love this camera. I love it because it's got AI, and like if like when we go feeding the animals, whatever. If Stephanie walks by, it tracks her. And then when she comes back, it tracks her. You've got a tracker on me. Yeah. And, and not only that is um, it actually will show like human vehicle. It's pretty neat. Hi from California. I'm not complaining. We always need it. Rain. Yep. Yeah, we got rain tomorrow and the next day. Hopefully it don't. Rain a bunch. Do you guys have color concepts picked out yet? No, we don't. I mean, for the most part, I think they choose what... I don't know. We've never done it before, so I don't know if we even get to choose the color. I know it's probably going to be a neutral color, but I don't know if there's different shades or something. But the kids will be excited when the house is built. Oh, yes. Yeah. John says, hey, Brandon, Steph, what type of building are you going to build? The enclosed with four walls or open on one side with three walls and a roof to just uh, park their equipment. Out. So when we first started talking about it was the three walls and open. And then we've also talked about putting doors on them. So... At this point, I'm kind of stuck in a spot I really don't know yet because we've got to figure out a way to get the ground level, and uh, that's what I'm going to work on tomorrow. Of course, there too many wag bars. I eat the wag bites now. Good night, Susan. We've had rain the past two days. Nene said, I was coming to the Oki Homestead Expo even if I was sick, but then someone was even sicker than I was needed to, ne needed to be home. Well, ne or, uh, Nene, I did not realize that. I think he said that the other day. I know. We're super excited about it, Nico. And I wasn't kidding if you want uh to bring your dog crate it hasn't rained here in chico california at all today but it was really cloudy though yeah it off and on here today cloudy yep Always enjoy your lives, and it brings me more, more what a small place myself. 
Small place myself. Nudley hasn't approved yet. Oh, okay. Okay. You can just put a door on one section. That's how our shed is with one big roll-up door at the end. Say that, say that one more time. One more roll-up door on the end. Uh, take a tablespoon of apple cider. Vent, vent, I can't say that word, but anyways. Um, in a cup of ounce of water before bed. It helps with the stomach heartburn issue. Also sleep better for some reason. I might look into that. Oh, uh, no, we're super excited as well. You have some very smart, respectful, or resourceful pups. Yep. Um, I know I don't say much, but I love y'all's channel. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you... Um, made a comment and don't be a stranger. Give us thumbs up, something in the comments. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Stephanie, will you make a wish list when you start to decorate? Yeah, um, I did that once before because we thought it was going to be pretty soon. So we will wait till it gets about probably half done with the house or almost done with the outside of the house or something. And, um, We'll get ideas put on a wish list and send it out. Do you miss some patrol at all? Um, no, because I get a I'm part time now, so if I get to missing it, I just go out. How many beds and baths will you have? It will four be a bed, two four bath. bedroom, two bath. Happy late Wednesday from Pensacola. Well, thank you, Eric. I'm looking at almost 200 acres in Davis area to start my family farm. Love, Oklahoma. Well, that is absolutely awesome. Yeah. Girl, honey is a natural bacterial. Put it on any scratches better than anything you could buy at the store. I'm a doctor. From a doctor. Okay. Did you do the special blow test to test for a stomach infection? Yep. They say a lot of people have it, but hardly are tested for it. Yeah, I did. I did every test they had. And some double. Yeah, I do like uh, Cog uh, Jason and Brooks uh, Barn. It is very, very nice. It's nice and roomy. I've just ordered a special gift for Captain Case, and it's something fun that is customized for his eggs. Just be there by, should be there by 18th of March, U.S. mail, so cheap shipping. Awesome. He will be excited. That boy gets excited over anything, really. Yeah, he does. Good night, Susan. And probably a lot of Karens, too. Yeah, I don't know what. I must uh, miss something. I, you know, honestly, I, here lately, it hasn't been so bad. You know, we have some great monitors, uh, moderators. And um, I will say, uh, I know some videos before we post them. I know that, you know, it could be some so uh, those I try not to get wrapped up in the comments Dean says build a drive-through um, that would be nice but it would be a lot bigger than what I want um, because I just really want it so I can pull the tractors in there but I want, also want it to where I can put some hay in there as well so it doesn't get wet. Um, we found some round bells at a very reasonable price, so we went ahead and got those uh, today. Um, even though that things are starting to green up, um, I went ahead and got some hay just in case throughout the summer um, I need it because some of the pens that these animals are in, 
um, they're going to need hay. And not we're not only going to feed them just the regular round bells. Once we get this barn built, I'm going to have some commuter grass. We're going to have some alfalfa. So we can actually mix it up and give them the nutrients and stuff like that. Um, it's just one of those deals that it just takes time. I mean, I wish we had the place to do it now, um, but we don't. Um, that's like dog food. You know, we run back and forth to the store every, probably every three or four days. Um, we're attracted to supply so much because one day we get tra uh, chicken food and the next day need dog food. So what we've been trying to do is get several bags of it, stock it up. That way we don't go to tractor supply so much because it seems like anytime you go to the store, you always buy something else that you don't need. Oh, Anil, he will definitely be excited. That is, uh, um, that is cool. I don't know. I've always been terrified of flying. Um, but I guess you got to kind of get used to it. That's what you do every day. We're under flash flood warnings this morning here where I live. Well, hopefully we don't get no flash flood warnings because, um, which the video hasn't come out yet. I bought some uh, Tannerite. Is that what it's called? I think some two bags of Tannerite to put in the bottom of the pond. Uh, no, Tannerite's that boom stuff. Um, Beninite. Beninite. So um, I bought two bags just to see what, that, it, see what it looks like and just kind of, you know, try it out but the water's got to go all the way down in the pond before we can do that. Um, I will say that it wasn't as expensive as, as I thought it was, uh, for a 50 pound bag, it was 10 99. Oh, that's not bad then. Needs a lot of that. Yeah. We are keeping our Brown farmhouse family in our daily prayers. Uh, they are just up, the road from us um and late yes uh, most definitely um keep them in uh, y'all's prayers um which they've already talked about it on their channel but they're going through something that's a parent's worst nightmare and it's kind of things like that when um you sit back and think that you got some problems and then you look at other people and you're like my problems ain't nothing compared to what that is. I couldn't imagine. I, I can't even, I can, yeah, that's, hmm. but God's going to have his hand over the whole situation and take care of it and uh, go back to normal. Um, I had somewhere. Oh, um, Nick said Tannerite is what I'm going to blow my beaver dams with. Yeah, that's that's what uh, I don't know why I was thinking that. My love, go back and watch the old videos. Y'all have grown so much. God is definitely on your side. Yes, he's done so amazing stuff with us. It, it's unreal. And um, sometimes it's just like is this is this for real? I mean, um, I'm I'm we're living a dream, guys. Um, when we started this channel, I would have never dreamed it would it would go this fast. We would grow this fast, and um, it's amazing. Um, and we couldn't have done it without, uh, for one, the man upstairs, and each and every one of y'all. You would have made a great warden for the state penitentiary system. Yeah, that's that takes a special person to do that job. Can you get tickets for the expo if you just show up? Yes, you can get them at the gate. Um, the expo is the 20, March 22nd and 23rd. Uh, 
have you put those little mats in the chicken coop yet? If they had uh, to see if they worked to throw uh, the eggs down. Um, no, we have not. Just because um, now I have took two spots out. And what we're going to do is cut those mats to go in there. I don't want to take the hay out because like so was it the chocolates and the jubilees or was the splashes laying the eggs? Yeah, the splashes did. The splashes did? Three, that's what Casey was telling you earlier. There was three eggs in their, their pen. Oh, my gosh. I'm mm -hmm. excited about that. Two inside of the actual chicken dill and then one on the ground. You gave the mamas the vitamin B12. Uh, be careful about the companies that you endorse and support. Do a lot of research uh, of history on them. Find out what they endorse and support. So I do, I mean, for one, I go back and, um, you know, make sure it's a product that I like. Um, you know, if it's a product I like, I I'll usually... Um, work with them. It's just like um, the deal with, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to go down that road yet, but I don't want to jinx myself because it is not final yet. So I'm hoping it's going to come up one day. When you think you've got it bad, there's always someone somewhere who is worse off than you. Thank God for your blessings every day. Yeah. Uh, Mark says, what is your limit on animals? Well, Mark, I don't have a limit, um, honestly. If I could ever buy more property, I would buy more property and have more uh, animals, you know, maybe one day. Um, you know, it's all up to the good Lord. But um, as long as we can feed ourselves and take care of ourselves and take care of our animals, I don't know. I, they're just so therapeutic. And uh, like I, I've said many times before, the image I have for this, um, but obviously everything's got to come together, have our house. And then we turn this area in here to the animal area is I do eventually want to <clears throat> be able to bring kids out here and um, let them go through, see the animals and kind of walk through, not like a zoo, but just people that could just come out on certain days and just go through the animals. And um, because to us, it's just animals. It's a goat. But for people that don't get to see these things every day, when they see a chicken, it lights it lights them up. They're and, like they talk about Casey on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that, that's even other animals. Animals are so therapeutic. It, it's unreal. Uh, Judy says, trust me, Steph, with the girls and boys, you need three bathrooms in your bedroom. You would want a shower, toilet, and sink there. Then in the general house, is a full bathroom with tub and shower and a vanity to hold a lot of towels and bathroom stuff. Then the third bath room, a toilet and sink put right near the front entrance or back entrance of the muddy feet coming in and out to both room daily. Yeah. I agree with that. It would be nice to have three, but we're just getting two. Uh, before you start your barn, you might want to check with the tribe to find out where the septic. We know exactly where they're going to put that, John. Um, it's going to be a pretty good ways out from where the barn's going to be. Um, so the septic's either going to be on the side of the house there where we showed earlier. I don't know if you've seen that or behind it. So um, we'll see how it works. Um, I've had cats my whole 62 years. Dogs for half of them. Did you get a new laser for your pew pew kit? Uh, yes. We got one right there. That was probably the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Um, watching a 
farmer give his mama goats after they are giving birth? He gave them vitamin B12. Do you give them? So um, I don't have that bottle with me, but I know it's got uh, B12, vitamin C, and some kind of electrolyte stuff. My mother needs prayers. Her daughter is Betty Greenhill from Russellville, Alabama. I am her daughter, Teresa Lynn Watkins from Tecumseh, Alabama. All right. We will definitely keep you in our prayers or your mom in your prayer, uh, our prayers. Looks like uh, everybody's getting some rain tonight. Amen. I, God is good. Yep. I think ours was supposed to come in like early early morning but they kept pushing it and pushing it to about 10 o'clock 10 to 1. there's a track supplies daily i basically threw away my shopping list when i walk in the door when we walk i i can i know where everything's at in tractor supply and first thing i do when i walk in i'll say what's the sales anything on sale today and there's like yeah Right over here. But your idea is great. I just imagine you guys sitting on your back porch. I can't wait. I cannot wait. That's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, what would they do if they lived 50 years ago for a bathroom? Yeah. Um, I mean, there for a little while, I mean, the we had the RV and then we had an outhouse here and it's, it's kind of crazy. Are you going to put up a swing on your front porch? I, yes, I would like to. I mean, we have to picture porch. it and stuff, but yeah, the back porch um, or the front and keep a swing there. I, yeah, we'll have one just depending on where it's going to go. Yeah, most definitely keep the Brown family in your prayers. Do you miss patrolling at all? Um, no, Sam. I, I actually went back part time, so I've actually got a unit parked outside right now. So if I want to go out patrolling, I just get dressed and go. I go out about once or twice a week. Um, since my surgery, I have not been out. I did have to go to court the other day, but um, I have not actually went back out yet. I'm probably going to try that here in the next few days. Daniel says, once you get your farm finished, you can also or always get the schools for field trips for the kids to see the animals. Yes. And I, I'm, I'm which a lot of the teachers and stuff at our school, our principals, um, a lot of those I went to school with and played ball with. So I do know several of them. So maybe definitely make something like that happen, you know. Yeah, blow those turtles up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can get tickets for the expo if you just show up. On the barn, put doors on two sides. You can open or close the doors on one or both sides to protect the animals from the cold winds, rain, and snow. Open up in the summer to keep cool. Yeah, we can do that. Now, Now, once we get that, the barn at the back of our house, that is the one that I'm going to take some time to... Uh, design. Uh, I want it to look really, really pretty. And that way when the, everything there, you know, if, if we got mamas that's kidding, you know, they got an area to come on, on the inside, they can kid there um, and have separate pins yeah. and stuff. Y'all are going to be amazed on what we've got coming to the farm after the expo. It's amazing. I started life with an outhouse, but it, but didn't have to use it for a long time. Diapers were cloth being said. Um, I, I remember doing, uh, my mom telling me that when I was a kid. Brandy, do you have enough pins that you could rotate, rotate for um, the grass and stuff? Um we, I mean, we have everything, I guess we could because we opened up the two bigger pins, but here lately, what we've been doing is we're, we're letting the goats out like the baby goats or mamas. 
will go out and graze one day and then we'll let the other ones out. Um, but what we do is we, we keep them wormed, you know, obviously if they're in the same pen, maybe later on we're able to get more pins and we can, you know, dot bite them up. Um, I do have some big, big plans, but a lot of things got to fall in place for it to work, but we're going to leave that for the man upstairs. Um, we do use safeguard to worm all of the, um, the goats, well, actually all the animals on the farm. Um, we will be um, actually, once we know all the code fronts are out, we're going to be actually shaving the llamas coming up. Um, so that's just right around the corner. Yep. He said, I'm still waiting on a phone call for Lipton. <laughs> It's always like uh, the companies you want to work for won't reach out, but the ones that you have tons of them that reach out to you and you don't want to work with them. Mm. Um, also, hopefully the goats and other large animals can go out during the day to graze and not just be pinned up all day and help with the keeping up the things cleaner. Yeah, it, I mean... For, uh, even if they're in their pens all day, I mean, they're big pens. They've got hay. They get grain in the morning. They get grain in the evening. So, I mean, they get everything they need. Um, oh, she retracted it. I was like, where do you go? When you shave the llamas, you could sell the fur. So I think what we're going to do is save the fur because we had to buy some fur for the trapping kits and stuff. So we're going to save it so we can use it. There's a goat farmer in Arizona called Weedum and Reap. She gives her mama goats molasses with water. What helps them greatly? So... The, those little pails that I bring, I bring them a snack bucket about once every two weeks. And it's got all the vitamins in it. It's got the molasses in it. Um, now, it's not the big blue ones, but, um, you know, those little uh, containers, um, it lasts them about a week. They just finished the one that we put out there the other day. And the one reason I got kind of stuck on those was I was wanting some little feed buckets. Well, they was $8.99. But those little um, pails that that stuff comes in, I think they're $20, $21. So really, you're getting the bucket for free, too. So mm -hmm. it worked out. I dropped the phone. Has Kaysen caught anything in his trap lately? Yes. Yeah, they both caught something. Yeah, it's processed. Brandon, that compost that you're... Going to be collecting in springtime is going to be gold. For gardeners like me, we would pay big dollar for that. Yep, we're going to pile it up and see what happens. Uh, hello, Dean. What's what? Because happened to you and need surgery. Um, I had my gallbladder removed. Hello, Mike. Linda says, Linda, Gentile, Corona, California. Nick said, you're going to spill the beans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to back off of it just a little bit. Um, Cog Hills Farm in Alabama is beautiful. Or beautiful barn. Yes, their barn is beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful. I'm trying to back off of it. You guys are the best podcast. You're a very calming channel. Thank you. Well, awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad at least some of y'all enjoy it. Um, which you know, I, I tell many, many people because we used I used to go live all the time when we was in town. I can remember when, you know, we had 10, 12 people on and um and it just grew. So yeah. 
I just yeah. treat everybody like I want to be treated. What is Leighton caught in his traps besides the bobcat? Uh, possums. You know, I have to find that. Uh, I've got to go back and find some footage. Uh, have a big yard light pole surrounding your home. Um, yes, there will be one um, when we get the house up, yes. My sister couldn't eat corn after she had her gallbladder out. Corn is hard to digest. So that's what me and Steph was kind of talking about today because um, my mm -hmm. favorite dish is called uh, shepherd's pie. And it's got corn in it. And today was pretty painful. So I kind of thought of that. Hey, Mike, how are you? Thank Where do you. you get egg box that stands alone? Huh? Where do you get the egg boxes that stands alone? That stands alone. No. So it says. Um, who got the skunk? That would be um, Leighton. I've got to go back and find that footage because it's gone. I don't know where it's at. Well, you guys bring a smile to my face every day. Oh, I love shepherd's pie. It's good. I hope. I hope that ain't what caused my pain. Steph might have to parade the corn from now on. Uh, he will just have to not eat shepherd's pie. Mike says, a former police officer here in New Jersey got injured on the job. Oh, wow. Um, how many years did you have, Mike? And if you don't mind me asking, how'd you get injured? Well, let me see. Uh, have you tried generic Pepsi? Yes. It's, I actually got some more. They got me on some other stuff that's pretty potent, too. Brenda, you tell your doctor to take a probiotic. Been doing it for 25 years. Say what now? Probiotic. No, he hasn't. No. Um, they did call back and say uh, the labs were... I have to go back and listen to that again. Um, Get the egg boxes that stand alone. Maybe they're talking about the nesting boxes. Maybe. No. Okay, that's what Jack said. They were talking about the nesting boxes. Want to know where you got them from? I, I got them off Amazon. I'll actually see if I can. Uh, I'll, I'll pull it right here and. I don't know if I can actually share it, maybe. My husband won't eat corn, so I make shepherd's pie with other vegetables instead, just as tasty. I love shepherd's pie. That's awesome. Oh, they, they went down, too. <laughs> Man, we might need to order one. I can have to wait. Uh, see if I can get this pulled up. I don't know if it'll let me share this link or here. It might, since I'm the Flavors. owner of the page. So, can I also eat unsweetened applesauce after having corn? Oh. That's where I actually got the uh, nesting boxes. So another thing um, I w thought about doing um, is I've seen that Cassie's done it and Sean's done it as well, and um, is doing the Amazon, um, what do you call it, the store, of uh, listing all the products that we use out here. So if there's something y'all like, y'all can actually go pick it off of um, our Amazon store 
Well, it just basically shows you what kind of products we use. Um, watch eating rough age salad and greasy foods and gravies will mess up your gut. Not having a gallbladder too. Corn doesn't bother me. And I had no gallbladder for 30 plus years. I'm learning with mine. Um, so we'll just play it by ear. Linda says, I've only been here for two months and I have been watching at least four, at least four a day to try to catch up. Well, that is awesome, Linda. Thank you so much. I can say that something is working because our numbers have, have been growing and, um, I, which I can tell that tons of y'all are sharing our content and leaving comments that is even not just ours even everyone else you know um be sure to at least give them a thumbs up or something that that helps out it really does uh, cindy says time to get to bed good night everyone and god bless you all good night cindy so this one says tomatoes make my stomach or makes my stomach bother me. Um, that's what I was kind of worried about tonight because we ate spaghetti, but we will see what happens. Um, yesterday I ate some chili after court and that did bother me pretty good. Um, yes, I do like the, uh, nesting boxes. They're awesome. Um, I did, uh, we're waiting for the um, those chicken kennels. Well, they're dog kennels. We're turning them chicken kennels. We're waiting for them to go back on sale at Tractor Supply because we need three more of them. And um, which you know we're designing each one of them the same. Um, they have they'll have the same nesting boxes. Same food. Same, same water, food. And same what, spot. But I have learned that since um, my mixture that I've put in for the oats and the cayenne pepper, uh, the B12 and some other vitamins and iron stuff. They're not eating the oats since I put the iron and um, some other stuff in it. So we're going to have to put some other goods. I'm, I went and got some black sunflower seeds and uh, I'm going to mix them in there and see if that changes it. But um, what'd you say? We got a dozen eggs today. Yeah. Just today. Yeah. So we've, we've been getting anywhere from six to a dozen eggs a day. And all the chickens are finally starting to lay. It just took a little, little time to give them some little extra treats. Well, thank you. I'm glad you caught us live as well. Uh, may I ask if we could see more of Jerry action, even if he is just in the background? Yes, I've got tons of footage of him. And, um, you know, it's just one of those deals. I don't like just to show the same animal over and over. But, yeah, um, Jerry's most definitely in the video all the time because he's right somewhere close by me. Aaron says, I wish you guys lived closer to me so I could help you guys out when you needed it. Yeah, it's um, it's crazy because that's the, the whole deal. Even, you know, we've had several of our friends around here want to come and help. It, it's so hard because we're always, you know, I, we can work for two or three hours. Then we got to go to a ball game or we got to take the kids to uh, tumbling or we're going to practice. So it's definitely hard to get us a schedule going a full day. Can you find any old videos from where you first started uh, clearing? Yes. Um, the very beginning, there is some time lapses out there as well that shows from the very beginning. We just did one not too long ago. And chew two to three times 15 to 20 minutes before you eat anything spicy or acidic foods. Yes. Cindy says, hello, folks from California. Did you ever think about putting wooden pallets in 
with the goats so they can so they have something to climb on uh the babies will love it so yes um we do have some wooden pallets but we got some other uh wood as well we're going to be doing that that's just another project that's waiting to be done brian is your brother going to help you with the turkey um uh, honestly he may come back out tomorrow maybe Good night, you guys. Casey should get his boxes from Casey should get his boxes from me tomorrow. Love you guys. God bless. All right. We will definitely be um, looking. We'll definitely so they got some packages today. So we're going to I we're going to get back to filming it kind of like Gary and Cassie does. I really like that. Um are you, uh, Kevin said, are you going to throw those in the incubator? Yes, I think we're going to go ahead and put these in the incubator. And then all the eggs from this point forward, um, we're going to take them and do some swapping with Cassie. Maybe. We'll see. And that's the best way if you eat something and it causes you pain. Then don't eat it for a while. Then try again. Some pain costs it off the list. Yeah, and jerky, hot jerky. I can't eat it. You can add sugar to tomato sauce to take away the acid, or if you eat an apple, it will calm your stomach. Oh, I didn't know that. I need to get some apple and caramel. Go injured ahead. on job fighting with suspect on PCP, 17 years on the job. Oh, wow. Well. Um, I, one of mine that kind of injured me for almost two and a half years and went to the doctor and went to the doctor and we finally got it fixed was my neck. Um, we'd, so the night before I'd pulled up and I was serving papers, um, subpoenas and stuff. And I'd pulled up to a truck. Um, I knew the gentleman in the truck and, um, I knew the guy that was driving the truck and there was some other people in the truck. Well, um, the passenger, I knew that he was back in town and he was occasionally have a warrants and stuff, but I was serving papers. I got out and I said, hi, you know, talk to him briefly. And, um, they's in a big truck. Um, I parked right beside him, got out. And, um, anyways, Afterwards, um, I stopped a truck later on. I gotta be careful how I say this. Um, so, but long story short, the gentleman in the passenger seat um, did have warrants. I didn't check him because I wasn't there. I just got out and and uh, served the papers. But um, there was somebody in that truck that told us later on that night that he was sitting right there at the window waiting for me to interact and he was going to uh, pull it. Um, and which when I found that out, that just, yeah, made me really, really mad. Um, but I was very thankful. So um, the next day um, we seen him leaving a, a dope house and um, we ended up getting a stop on it and we, we pulled into this uh, area, uh, went up to the vehicle, uh, asked him to step out because he had a warrant. And when he stepped out, he had a bag in the uh, passenger seat. But my thinking is he had one of those things yesterday. And um, when I went out to cuff him, he, he jumped back in, back in the car. So I'm thinking, you know, that's what he's going for. And uh, we wrestle. And I guess when I went in in the car, um, you know, because with the vest and stuff, it's, you know, tight. Um, I ducked my head. I did hit my head on the side of the door going in. But I guess I, when I did, it did something to the muscle and it locked them up. And I went two and a half years doing x-rays, MRIs. And there's like, no, there's nothing there. Come to find out, I did acupuncture and it released all the muscles and it all went back to normal. It's crazy. 
Uh, from Minnesota. I sent you a nesting box from Walmart. Awesome. Miss David. I'm sure Kason can put it somewhere. Brandon, how do you like the new Durango? I like it. Um it's it's got a lot of uh it's got a lot of power. Good night, Gina. Um we may get cows later on, yes. Yeah, later on, hopefully. Uh, Money says the Lord has his hand of protection of angels on you, Brandon. I've heard plenty of stories about uh, crazy on PCP. Uh, so scary it is. God bless the, the blue. Yes, it is scary. Um, you just got to keep your head on a swivel and um, just be ready. You, you definitely got to have the... Uh, the man upstairs with you for sure. So I said I found 20% layer feed. I am getting a dozen a day. I also get six banner eggs a day. I am going to waterless my I am going to waterless my eggs this summer. That's awesome. It's bushwhacker for meat. No. No, he's just a pet. Jacob says, has Brandon ever pulled you over, Steph? Uh, Only when he is using me for the dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's... Um, Actually, technically, you pulled me over that one time, but I did it on purpose. Um, I sped past him to get him to notice me. So, like, when we would train, I would put training aids on Steph's vehicle... I would stop, I'd go walk up front, go through a whole traffic stop, get uh, Max out or Harley and run them. And um, we did that several times just to work with them. So technically I've been pulled over by Brandon a lot. Yeah. Um, it was cool to see the bobcat your son caught. Very beautiful animal. Yes, it was pretty neat. Hello from Tipperary, in Ireland. Sorry, I'm only getting on now. Allison, you're fine. Um, I would suggest since y'all have a lot of allergies to not put carpet in the new home. I hate carpet, but can't afford to have it all changed at the time. So we will partially have par uh, carpet, but the reasoning on that is... Well, now it's not just Brandon, it's me too. But Brandon has flat feet. Um, Kaysen has flat feet. And now with my plantar fasciitis, this hardwood floor is not the best for our feet. Yeah. Gail says, Brandon, why does cop touch the back light uh, as he goes up to the driver door? To leave the hand. So that is leaving uh, the fingerprint of that officer or DNA. Um, so if something does happen, they do know where to um, try to find that. Mm -hmm. Neil said, when you did the practice stops with Steph, did you practice locking her up too? <laughs> no, I didn't have a bite dog. I just had a narcotics dog. Kathleen, I don't know. She said, are there more Christians on the force than non-believers? That's uh, just up I, to I, them, really. I, I know with my agency, um, we, like, before we did warrants or anything like that, doing something, we'd all get together and pray. Um, even if we had a bad crash or something like that, a debrief, we'd all pray. So um, I would say believers. Like our church, a large percentage of the firemen and law enforcement goes to our church. Now they gave us a date on the house. Um, no, they haven't really gave us a date, but they did say that it's going to start getting a little bit closer, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, getting closer. Yeah, I do miss the canine, but it was a lot of work as well. Uh, 
I guess I want to see how many friends know that. <laughs> All right, guys, it's getting pretty close to 11 o'clock here. We're going right out about an hour and 50 minutes, but we still got to go out and do our animal check and um, go through the chicken yard and um, adding all those chickens up there just takes a little bit longer, but hey, we absolutely love it. Um, we want to thank each and every one of y'all for hanging out with us tonight and just being here, showing y'all's love and support. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed to Steph's channel, go over and subscribe to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. So we're going to call it a night. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless. Good night.